afternoon YouTube welcome to my Monday here on this uh, uh, day after the weekend I guess is the way to put it um, share with you a couple things first thing off I have the uh, other fuses they came in the half amp fuses those will go in the meter so uh, also the uh, I don't some of somebody I mentioned it to and I can't I thought it was Jack but maybe it wasn't um, about a radio I, I bought on eBay uh, number one hi-fi multi-band radio anyway that uh, was supposed to be here today but for some strange reason it took a side trip to Pittsburgh <laughs> don't know why uh, it, it was coming from Kentucky which is is anybody that knows anything about geography knows is only one state away from Indiana and for some reason it went the other way and went to Pennsylvania <laughs> not sure why because the uh, city it was it was in is near Frankfort Kentucky which is west of Cincinnati as far as the crow flies so I don't know why it went east but it did so hopefully it's on its way back as of two something yesterday morning it was being still in transit from Pittsburgh so <laughs> maybe that's just the way the Postal Service works I have no idea but you know anywho that's uh, that's for you Bill <laughs> um, that's that's the way the cookie crumbles I guess I'll get it maybe tomorrow I don't know but uh, what I thought I would do today is uh, I had bought uh, some of you may remember I bought a desoldering uh, iron uh, some time ago and I have never demoed it and I think I want to do that today and I <laughs> I did open it the other day and it's not the one I thought I was getting the one I thought I was getting uh, was a desoldering or a soldering iron with a bulb you know the bulb I use this one here bulb on it where you just squeeze it and you know do that this one is more like a solder pullet. Anybody's familiar with a solder pullet? It basically, you, it's got a spring on it, you push it down and then when you want to uh, remove the solder after it heats up, you hit the button and it springs up. It is probably a better setup. I, I, I don't doubt that. But that's not the one I ordered. <laughs> Anywho, uh, I do have that and I may, I may want to demo that a little bit and see. I had planned on doing some uh, 555 uh, timer breadboarding, but I don't know if I have all the, the ingredients for that uh, concoction. So I think what I'm going to do again is just go ahead and I've still got the uh, circuit boards that George sent, and those would be some good ones to play around with on that desoldering tool and see how that works. I'm going to set up the camera to where you can get a good, eye, uh, good view of it. Uh, hopefully on a, a steady tripod type situation, Bill. We don't, we don't want you to get sick. And uh, so, so stand by and a little bit, I'll bring you back. But that will be instantly on video. You know how that works. But it will take me a, a few minutes to set this up. So stay with us and we'll be back. All right, there's the uh, end of it. Uh, you can see there's a, I think you can see there's a hole in it. Here's the other end, there's the pullet part. Like I said, you just hit the button there and after I snap the thing down, which I'll do right now, and you just hit the button and it pulls it off. Just that button right there, that yellow button. And I've got the uh, components board here. Uh, not sure what I'm trying to get off here, but I want to get a few uh, test is basically just a test of the uh, desoldering tool it's warming up now I don't know I mentioned I have plugged in I can smell it it's heating up no it's still heating up I'm not sure if it's got enough to melt solder yet or not let's try it and see I don't think so So as soon as that is warm enough to uh, heat some solder, we'll continue. 
like I said, I, I probably want to get these two here, maybe those two there, and get these two here, and I'm not sure about these poly caps, what they are. Uh, I've got quite a few poly caps, but uh, like I said, just kind of looking around for different things to get. And I'm again, mainly just to test this out. And it's warming up on the handle a little bit, so. Takes a while to get this. There you go. See, now that's that's right what we needed. Put a little bit around the tip there. So let's try it out and see what happens. Let's see what I'm trying to get here. See now these are not, uh, they're bent over so they're going to be more difficult to get out than your regular Yeah, worked pretty darn good actually Not bad Let me go ahead and reset it Try the other end here see it now which one was it oh right there yeah okay that's not bad yeah there's number one I can get this out of focus there that didn't do too bad let me try another one see what happens see like I said the, the problem with these if I had this uh, maybe at a different angle to where I can get a hold of it and you know, I, that wasn't bad, but it could be even better if I got these up out of the, uh, bent up a little bit. Where I could get the soldering iron around them a little bit. There we go. Now let's try, try that a little bit and see how that works. So now I have this one which is, should allow me to do that to it. I don't know how that worked. Let's try the other end. Let me do this one again. I don't think I got that one at all. look at having a little problem here with this uh, I'm having to use my magnification lamp behind the camera <laughs> okay I can see right now I did the wrong one <laughs> so that's come from not seeing what you're doing so let me try off camera here just to get that other one while I've got my light There we go. That was much better. See if I can get it up off there now. Oh yeah, that's right off. Excellent. As you can see right there, that makes two. Again, I think I'll get faster as this goes along. And if these weren't bent over, it would be a lot easier to do. I know that for a fact. Let's see. Mm-hmm. All right. Where are we at? What are we 
we're doing. I got one of them. Missed the other one entirely. I don't even know where I'm at on that one. I almost have to have a little bit more of a I'll see what I'm doing thing. Might have to reposition the camera a little. There we go, there's another one. This is a 22 microfarad at 10 volts. That's another little piece of treasure there. Now see, I already got one half of that down done there because I was on the wrong one when I was looking at it before. See, what I like about this is you can do it one time and take your screwdriver and then get underneath of it enough to where it will let you break it loose of whatever is left of the solder bridge. So, that's that I kind of like. So let's try it one more time. This should be an easy one. That thing's got a different sound when you uh, actually get it to suck up something. I've noticed that real quick. It uh, definitely has a different sound to it. I got one leg of it loose. That probably has got a little solder on it, I would think. Yeah, that's what it was. A little solder. Is this the same value? Uh, yep, 22 microfarad at 10 volts. Alright, there's four components. Real quick. <laughs> okay, it's not real quick. I, I admit that that wasn't too quick. But again, like I say, I'm new at this. I've never really had a desoldering tool before. I kind of use the, the old-fashioned method. I'm just wondering if, if which is better. Because I know how quickly I can get them out with a soldering iron. Because I, I ba basically get a hold of them with a hemostats or something and put some heat on it, pull the lead out, pull the other lead out, and it's done. So, you know, I don't know that this is any better. It's cleaner, obviously, you know, you get your solder cleaned out a lot better and stuff like that, but uh, just not really sure that it's better for what I want, want it for. But, you know, live and learn. Here's another one I might want to get out. If I can figure out where it's at. Yeah, right there. So, you know, did you hear that? There was a poof to the sound of it. You can just definitely hear a difference in the way it sounds when uh, you've got a good connection. You can tell it sucks up something like that time it did too. So, yeah, see that one's loose in there. Are you guys seeing this? I know you're not. That's wiggling around there. See, it just popped up. Ah, uh, that is something. I'm not real sure what. I have to get the magnification 4.7, 24 volts or 25 volts, I think. That's what it is. So anyway, that's a demo of that, and that's really all I wanted to do, is to see how well it worked. And it does seem to work fairly well. I haven't tried it on a uh, resistor, not a resistor, but a transistor yet. Might give one of those a shot, just to see. Because I see some of them right here. You know, that didn't do anything. You can tell it didn't do anything. It didn't catch a thing. I think it has to do with the fact that I'm not on it, on it good enough to where it's, you know, it's got to heat, heat that solder up. Now that time it did. See, you can even see right there. There's, there's you know, it got it. So, now that's actually a capacitor. That was the wrong one I was after. But I'll go ahead and take it off as I started.
See, now that pumped it out too. You just hear the pump action of it, which is kind of neat. Actually, that's a small cap. It's warm now, I can tell you that. This one right here. It's a little disc cap, but I don't think I can get that out right now. I'll get it later, but it's, at least it's desoldered. Here's what I was looking at, was right here. These uh, transistors, there's three leads there to them. Let's see if I can get one of those out. How hard it is, how easy it is, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, boom. Okay, did you hear that? Boom. Yeah, there you see. Now, I don't know about this middle one, what it's going to do. Let me try the other side first. Got that. I think I hit the camera with that one. Uh, let's see if I can get this middle one out. A little bit more difficult. But I think I might have got it. Yep, I did. Now when I say I got it, I mean that I, I actually can see where the uh, solder has been lifted. And if you move, move the transistor around, I don't know if you can see it or not, you can see it moving around and it is loose all I have to do is is get my uh, screwdriver bend the leads up a little bit to where it'll come off this thing every time I lay this thing down it gets picks up something so magnetic now I think I got it this is the middle one's a little bit Well, I got it, but it's not coming out. See, uh, another thing, like I say, I'm, I'm working with a handicap here. I'm not having no no luck as far as seeing things when I'm trying to do with the camera in a way. Um, here it is right here. You can see how loose it is. It's just real loose. But I don't have it good enough to pull it up through there. I think there's some solder still on the leads and they don't like going through that small hole with a big piece of blob of solder on them which you know I understand that there it goes I think I got it without without destroying it yep there it is no idea what it is but there it is <laughs> a transistor now okay I'm gonna stop this and you've seen the demo of it it does work doesn't work bad so I'm happy with that I'm gonna go ahead and clean this I want to see if I can clean this tip off with this oh yeah that worked pretty good go ahead and unplug this let that cool down um, let me get back on the other camera all right you can see there I took off some uh, pieces. I took uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, six pieces off. Uh, I think I'll get better with that. I think it's just a matter of learning how to do it with the when the leads are bent over like that and if I'm not having to do it on camera it's a lot easier. Uh, I know by experience it is. And so I just want to kind of demo uh, on the uh, difference of the uh, solder pullet type and the bulb type that I thought I was getting. Uh, I don't know that it's any, any uh, like I said, I think I got the better deal. I think the, the pullet type is probably a better sucker. Uh, I know the bulb type, it, it really kind of depends a lot on how fast you can release that bulb and let it get its suction going. So, anywho, that's that. And uh, I, I also, I, you guys probably noticed the introduction. Um, <laughs> I hope I think Jack has a good enough uh, sense of humor that he won't mind that <laughs> but I, after I saw his little cassette tape label thing I thought I gotta do something with that and uh, you know I was wanting to do a little bit more with it but I was pressed for time so this is what I came up with 
I think it turned out pretty good. So, you know, I can't complain about it. And I may do <laughs> I may do this to some of the others uh, uh, intros because I, I just kind of like messing with intros. I always have. So I think what I may do is, Carl, your, uh, your Captain Kangaroo in intro, that uh, I, I might have to do something with that. <laughs> So, you guys be looking for that, and I appreciate you all watching. It's a beautiful day here in downtown Seymour today, and you guys have a wonderful day there where you're at. Hope it's sunny and bright, and thanks so much for watching. See ya.